Hello, this is Justin Wolf, Product Manager at FuturePoint Systems. I'll be talking today about Starlight Viz 4.1.2. In this first video, I'll be going through the basic features and tools available to analysts using Starlight Viz. We'll dive into more detail in the next several videos as we work through a simple analytic task. At the top of Starlight Viz is the ribbon, which has two principal tabs. The Data tab has all the tools for loading, managing, and exporting data. Data is easy to load into Starlight by simply dragging and dropping it into Viz or by using the Import Wizard tool. Starlight can now load data that's not just in XML, but Microsoft Office formats such as Word, PowerPoint, and Excel, as well as HTML, text, and Adobe PDF files. Starlight also has an entity extractor built in to enhance unstructured documents and speed analysis. Customers can also customize the import process by creating import plugins with our XML engineering environment, also called XEE. Through these plugins, complex data processing tasks can be used by individual analysts simply clicking on the plugin and entering a query. Starlight will then load the results into the current project. All the tools analysts use day in and day out to analyze data in Starlight are collected on the Home tab. Starlight provides a couple of different ways to slice your data, the most familiar of which might be through queries. However, Starlight also has tools for coloring data based on time, numeric, or discrete string values, or apply symbols to the data from a font or a set of images. Another way of slicing the data is by filtering based on time or numeric values. On the right side of the application is the color legend. The color legend shows the currently available color encodings, such as the time encoding you see here. Analysts can construct other encodings as well and select them through this legend. If we were using symbol encoding, you would see a symbol legend on the right here as well. On the left side is the project manager. This shows the various data loaded into the project, as well as any visualizations. As an analyst queries data and builds visualizations, that process is recorded here in the project manager as a tree of activities. The project manager is also where users access the iSpace, a place where multiple visualizations can be viewed together simultaneously. And the knowledge manager, Starlight's link charting tool. In the center of Viz are various windows showing raw data contained in record sets and visualizations. Views of the raw data in record sets have two components. At the top is a tabular display of rows and columns, with each row representing a single document. The various structured data components of each document are shown in the columns. On the bottom half is a view of the document itself. Here we have some web pages representing reporting related to a terrorist attack, which Starlight retrieves and displays in its original format. The captured text and other information can also be viewed using the standard and XML tabs. Starlight has 10 distinct visualizations to help explore data. One of these, the topic view, is currently displayed here. The topic view analyzes a set of documents and organizes them based on their content. Each cluster of documents represents a subset of data that talks about the same concepts, which are shown as labels over each cluster. Though these documents are in English, Starlight works with any language since it is the content of the documents themselves that determines how they cluster, not any English-specific algorithm within Viz. An easy way to think of the topic view is as a table of contents, each cluster of documents representing chapters of the data. Before moving on, I want to briefly demonstrate how filtering and querying work. Since each of these reports has a publication date, I'll use the temporal filter to display just one day's worth of recording. I can see how the content of the reports shifts over time by dragging the filter left and right. By looking at the clusters in the topic view, we can see that this reporting includes information on embassy attack in Yemen. I'll use Starlight's concept search to find documents that discuss that concept. The concept search is different than a typical search because it analyzes the query the same way as other documents in the topic view. This means I could paste a paragraph or a whole other document into the search dialog and find documents that are conceptually similar, not just because they match the words I type in. Here we'll look for documents discussing the embassy bombing in Yemen by typing embassy Yemen bombing. Starlight has selected the documents similar to my search criteria, which I can then browse for further analysis. This concludes the orientation to Starlight Viz 4.1.2.
We'll go into more detail on how to use Starlight to conduct analysis in the next video.